the the reason I wanted to do this vlog is I've been doing a lot of reading on cryptocurrency lately because it seems very interesting, you know. The other thing that I've been studying and researching is uh, satellites, right? The upcoming trends on satellites. Last week, uh, I mean, last last week, two weeks back, so we had this international workshop on lean satellites. Uh, this is a workshop which is being held from 2011. Last year it was in Rome. This this year it's in Japan. And fortunately in my city, uh, there were some really, really big shot people attending the conference. I mean, we have Dr. Robert Sporles from Spires Industries. Then we have Professor Jordi Puaxuri from Cal Poly. He, he's the father of CubeSat. He came again in, 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 in for this workshop I have professor John Bellardo John Bellardo from Cal Poly and Rei Kawashima uh, Kawashima sensei she made a presentation that what UNICEF is doing and what his goals are what his visions are by 2030 UNICEF global wants to have wants to see a world that every single country is capable of building uh, uh, of of, of I, I forgot the exact uh, definitions, but basically every country should be able to participate in this CubeSat community somehow. But every single country having their own CubeSat, that's like 193 countries, so 193 CubeSats in the orbit, doing what? Thing is, we need CubeSats, all of us, but it might not be 193 why why don't we collaborate you know two countries coming together having their own hardware payloads on their own missions and and flopping together and this is possible i mean through through birth project we have demonstrated that yes it, it is possible you can have multiple countries coming in together working towards the common goal and just get it done so what happened is that i ended up asking a weird question to kawashima sensei on the conference I mean, the question was really, really weird. I was thinking, what could possibly be the next trend in our industry? Now, if you look at the business trends, right? You have Amazon, so you have shops like Alibaba, you have Airbnb, you have Uber. The common thing is that they don't actually own anything. Uber does not own any taxi cab and Uber does not employ any driver. It's just connecting the people together. The same goes with Airbnb, right? Why can't we do the same thing for satellites? Now, thing is, in, in this vlog, I could give you um, a little bit of a background that what is going through my mind and what I'm thinking. So the question I just asked you may or may not be clear, but I, I, I hope it's clear. But during that conference, what I did, I stood up and I asked that question, the sensei, why can't we come together and share our ideas and somebody gives me the bus, somebody gives me the payload and magic happens and we have a satellite combining maybe two or more countries. I could see from her face, she was... Uh, dumbstruck that what kind of video the question is that I could look around the audience I was standing so I could just look around the audience and <laughs> see in the face that the question I just asked was really really dumb question so during the tea break I came out I was talking something else with my business and Kawashima sensei actually found me out. She grabbed me to one side and she said, What the hell was your question? Not not in those exact terms, but she 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 said that exactly what you're trying to say. And I said sensei, look, this is what's going on through my mind. Uber does this. So can't we have some kind of Uber service from satellites? Right? Later on she gave me an email address to somebody. I did have a conversation, but as I was having that conversation with Kaushima Sensei, Dr. Fore was there. Uh, she is one of my seniors in QTech. 
and she was the project manager for the audio core. <laughs> I, could sh I could see in her face that she was struggling not to laugh. Subsystems are fine on their own, but something happens when you when you join them together, when you 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 tell them, when you instruct them to work together in harmony. They just don't. They just don't work in harmony. We had Professor Cho guiding us each and every step. He was there constantly reminding us, like, look. Have you done that? Have you done this? And we struggled. We struggled a lot. I remember strictly on 31st night, 31st December, it was the New Year's Eve and we could not do anything. I mean, we could not even go home. So what we did, we just went to a restaurant, had a good dinner, came back and exactly at midnight, we just took a selfie. That's it. And after the selfie, we just went back into the clean room and started doing our work. You need to have system engineers like us so if you go to the uh, government agencies who take care of building satellites and doing those multi-billion dollar researches you'll find that there is a team of people maybe two maybe three i don't know how many numbers they only do documentations nothing else there's a thing called icd interface what is icd Interface, common diagram, there's something called ICD, I forgot, okay. Without somebody dedicated to take care of those jobs, you, you, you cannot get a project done. So, so now I know why, why they were so dumbstruck and laughing at me. It's kind of embarrassing, but hey, it's a, it's a learning process. I saw you just now. Middle of the